Assassin's Creed is the same game every year. Yeah, right. Assassin's Creed Liberation is amazing. It's a full-fledged Assassin's Creed game on the go. Finally, we have another compelling portable AC title. The only one we had before was Bloodlines on the PSP. The Android games weren't that good. And finally, with the Vita, we have another. And it's way better than Bloodlines. This time the Vita is fully capable on loading the big map areas. Sure, the frame rate chugs in the first part of the game. But it's never bothersome, and jumping from this to this is a big step up. Actually, there is so much detail in this game that when playing you forget that this is a portable game. It's the same Assassin's Creed 3 experience. The only downside are the frame rate chugs in the first part of the game and the compressed sound effects. You can spot the low quality audio from a distance, but this happens to many Vita games, so you can't hold it against it. Also the integration of Vita mechanics turned out poorly in the game. Opening letters with the touchpad or pickpocketing people with the touchpad feel inconsistent, or using the gyroscope or the touchscreen, the mechanics just don't work out well. But aside of this, the game is a full Assassin's Creed experience. You can assassinate targets, upgrade weapons, buy new gear, and unique to the game are the personas. Evelyn has three different costume sets. One is the assassin's outfit, which does all the action. Another one is the slave persona, which has weak protection against attacks, but is helpful to blend in and to gather information easier. The lady outfit grants protection over guards. They wouldn't hit a lady. And also in this attire, you can charm and bribe guards. And the assassin persona is the coolest, but it's also one that you get more attacked. Also the game has multiplayer, but I have no idea how to play the multiplayer. It's some sort of strategy game with a globe. But overall, the game is a must play if you have a Vita. When Assassin's Creed Chronicles was released on PS4 and Xbox One, people were disappointed. And it's understandable why. The franchise has set the bar very high with its historical accuracy, huge 3D worlds and solid gameplay. Chronicles isn't a game that abides to that formula, rather it goes on another path. The game is 2D, 3D and has plenty of puzzles. So instead of a 3D open world stealth game, now it's a 2.5D platformer that is also an action stealth game where there are also puzzles added to the mix. You still get to assassinate and it feels just as good as on the big consoles, moreover you get plenty of moves and gadgets. You can throw smoke bombs, stun guards, use a hidden blade hidden inside the shoe. So even if the game sounds like it's different and it feels different indeed, it also feels familiar. Meaning that you get the same stuff to do and a similar feeling of playing the OG Assassin's Creed game only that now it's in 2.5D. 2.5D. On Vita, the game compiles all three Chronicle games. Chronicles China, Chronicles India and Chronicles Russia. Chronicles China has visuals like it's a water painting. Chronicles India uses vibrant tropical colors and Chronicles Russia uses darker visuals a combination of grey and red, and all three look really good on the Vita. Chronicles China takes place in the 15th century, during the time of Khan, in the Mongolian assault of the Great Wall of China. Chronicles India takes place in the 18th century, during the war between the Sikh Empire and the East India Company, and Chronicles Russia takes place in 1918, during the aftermath of the October Revolution. There are also artifacts and templars in the plot, but honestly, in these games I didn't care about the story. There are some nice cutscenes, but most of the game is in text, and overall I didn't find the story to be that intriguing. But as a conclusion, even if the games are kinda disappointing on PS4, as games on the go, they are good entries. But this is like the Romanian saying regarding food. I like it, but don't make it in the future. Meaning that, yeah, Chronicles are nice games that catch the feeling of an Assassin's Creed game, even if they are 2.5D. But we still prefer something like Liberation if the console is capable. Yet I have to admit that both games are really good on the Vita. Liberation is an Assassin's Creed experience without compromises and Chronicles are darn good games to play on the go. Okay, so this was the video. 
If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You would help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and then reveal thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.